Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and today I'm here to show you a really unusual promotional box set for The Dark Knight Rises directed by Christopher Nolan. It is a for your consideration or FYC box set sent out exclusively to members of the HFPA, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, in preparation for them judging the Golden Globe. So this is a huge box set. Just looking at my hands, you know, I have normal size hands. Don't let anybody tell you differently. And this is also extremely heavy. I was absolutely shocked as to how heavy this is. I mean, I have to stand behind the tripod now. It's like, if I'm holding this with one hand, and I'm not very strong, but yeah, I, I could, <laughs> I certainly couldn't do this for the entire video because it is absolutely ridiculously heavy. And you will be figuring out why in a second. It's quite a large box, as you can see. Got a lovely cover on it. The spines don't have a lot of image at all. It looks like there's a lot of dirt and debris, but I think these little white markings are actually part of the print of the front cover. Some on this side might actually be damaged. I don't know, it's sort of hard to tell. Checking the back, this is obviously all black and I'm pretty sure any white smudges on here are probably damages. Oh god, <laughs> it's so heavy. It's like total fucking workout here. Okay, opening this up, we have a flap on the side and this has a magnetic seal so oh gotta love magnetic seals on cardboard we pulled it out there's nothing on the interior here it's just all black but it's a really nice build quality my only concern is that there's a big book in here which you can see which is the art and the making of the dark knight trilogy and this is why the box set is so fucking heavy they did us a favor by including this thing which is just this little textile strap so you have to lift this but the book's actually so heavy so it's almost hard to get it up to the right height to lift it out but anyway here's the book it's got a protective cover on it a little bit of damage on the side but yeah you can understand this is quite a big book it actually says the price on it i don't know if you can buy this separately i would assume you can I haven't really looked at the book in terms of the interior oh it actually has a print on the interior so that's really nice see if it has one on the reverse side as well yeah it does it's actually a absolutely beautiful book full of you know various color prints it looks absolutely stunning it's a really hefty book it's 297 pages it's insane like yeah it seems like it has quite a lot of uh, rare and unusual behind the scenes shots it seems like a absolutely massive book then there's actually a second book in here. There's essentially three things. You got a big book, you got a smaller book, and then you got the Blu-ray in the bottom. So in order to get the next one up, I have to keep pulling this. Now this is not as heavy, but this is a really nicely presented. I mean, it's a simple looking, not really glossy, but sort of a semi-glossy matte print. A bit of gray metallic look. And uh, this is actually a um, screenplay book. You know, all the lines, all the setups. No pictures or anything, it's just essentially yeah it's a screenplay book so this is the full screenplay for the dark knight rises and then at the bottom here we got a for your consideration the dark knight rises and then we got a blu-ray dvd ultraviolet combo pack also lifted up now you can see here is the full ribbon i don't know if this is the like the standard version that was available early on you can see that it has a slip case with a slightly sort of holographic feel to it and uh, there's the spine turn this over so uh, yeah seems to be like your standard edition but obviously well packed them I mean, into special edition but I don't think this is in any way exclusive to this box set it's not like a screener copy or anything it seems to be the regular edition you could get like a retail version but still really nice because you know I was looking to pick up a copy of uh, The Dark Knight Rises because I didn't own it and I really wanted to rewatch it and then I stumbled over this thing on eBay and just felt like you know I absolutely gotta have this because I'm such a sucker for uh, promotional box sets when it comes to Christopher Nolan I mean I got uh, these really luxurious variations of uh, The Dark Knight and so I'd never actually seen a similar box set for The Dark Knight Rises so I was super excited when I spotted this on eBay. Now you can tell that this is a little bit damaged. It's got some tears in the corner and overall, you know, a little bit of damage here and there. But it's actually a extremely 
well-built box and it's still holding together. There are some slight crease markings, I'm assuming quite common on these. The contents are essentially too heavy to be supported. You can see that there are some minor markings like this, but overall it's actually in uh, quite good shape. Yeah, this is, uh, like I said, for HFPA members only. I don't have an exact limitation on this, but usually, like my last or previous box sets I've reviewed that have been sort of uh, FYC for the HFPA as well, checked with some sources on those, and the info I got that it was roughly 93 copies based on how many members it sent out to, and like the total number of members within the HFPA. I don't know if that's changed over the years, but you know, just a rough estimate, I would probably say around 100 copies or. You know, it's it's HFPA boxes in general. These FYC boxes are really quite uncommon. Um, so, yeah, uh, what can I say? Just super stoked that I was able to get this. But anyway, that's it for me today. Really hope you enjoyed this, and hope to see you all next time. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that. I never really tell people to do that, but it would be nice to you know get comments and stuff. That's it. Bye bye. Uh, fuck. Now I fucked it up. Okay. <laughs>